welcome to spectrum academy i am pranita today we will be learning about volcanoes so the topics we will be discussing today will include what are volcanoes the types of landforms the formation of landforms the important terms related to volcanoes then distribution of volcanoes origin of the volcanoes types of volcanoes and the last is geyser and hot springs so let's begin now we all know that volcanic activities have a great impact on our earth's landforms right it's an opening through which solid liquid and gaseous materials like molten lava ash gases come out to the surface from earth's deep interior so basically there are two types of landforms formed due to the different behaviors of magma the first is intrusive landforms and the second is extrusive landform now the magma while coming on the surface of the earth may cool and solidify within the crust and as a result it forms intrusive landforms the solidification within the crust is known as plutonic rocks next is extrusive landform that is when the magma reaches the surface and solidifies it forms extrusive landforms when the magma comes out of the surface of the earth we call it lava the landform formation depends on the strength and fluidity of the magma the type of cracks falls and joints it goes through inside the earth's crust and because of all these factors the landforms are formed now we have discussed earlier that when the lava comes out of the earth's crust and solidifies it forms extrusive landforms and when the magma cools and solidifies within the crust becoming plutonic rock causes the intrusive landforms and both of these plutonic and volcanic activities can cause igneous rocks now there is no need to worry we will be looking into the details of the diagram as we move further okay the layers of sedimentary rocks or igneous rocks gets exposed and resembles the flow of the lava and various forms of landforms this happens all due to denudation and because of this denudation the rock appears as straight walls or shallow trenches as we can see in the image now let us understand some important terms related to volcanoes the first is sills and dikes the horizontal beds inside the crust causing the intrusion is called as a sill the intrusions which are vertical are termed as dikes now the magma comes out of this dike the sill and dikes both can get exposed to denudation this happens when the upper layer gets eroded now the other important terms related to the igneous intrusions are the types of lids that is the laccoliths lopoliths facoliths and batholiths they are formed in various layers of the earth's crust the laccolith is a dome shaped surface inside the earth's crust it's a large blister or igneous mount it contains strata of sedimentary rocks next is lopolith it is saucer shaped here we can see that the shape of the lopolith is similar to that of the sill but a lopolith is more curved that is it is saucer in shape the next one is facolith it is lens shaped it is a mass of igneous rocks which is formed in between the anticlines and the synclines the other term is batholith it's a huge mass of igneous rocks okay the metamorphosed rocks together can be seen forming here and with the help of magma the batholiths are formed now let us learn the origin of the volcanoes The ancient Greeks believed that the god Vulcan from beneath volcano island of Sicily caused the volcanoes but the geologist and volcanologist said that it all happens because of the crustal disturbances due to the folding and faulting of the mountains and we all know that the deeper we go below the surface of the earth the higher the temperature becomes and hence the magma which is inside the earth's crust is really hot and is in semi molten state and as we learn that it comprises of solid liquid and gaseous materials the magma consists of carbon dioxide sulfuretted hydrogen nitrogen and other substances let us discuss the distribution of volcanoes in the world the volcanoes are found in a pattern in the regions that are folded or faulted they mostly occur in the mountain ranges oceans and offshores one of the most active areas is the circum pacific region that is the pacific ring of fire here two thirds of the world's volcanoes occur 
the areas include kamchetka then japan japan is the place where there are 35 active volcanoes then next is philippines in philippines there are over 100 active volcanoes then the next is indonesia pacific islands of solomon tonga new hebrides north islands new zealand and then from andes to the central america and from mexico to alaska the atlantic coasts have less active volcanoes many are dormant or extinct and the east african rift valley like mount kilimanjaro mount kenya are extinct now but mount cameroon in west africa is active the west indian islands experienced some volcanoes recently and mount pele in martinique and saint vincent In Mediterranean region it is the opposite of circum pacific region they occur in the mountains with alpine folds mountains like vesuvius mount etna stromboli and volcano the himalayas has no active volcanoes now let us look into the two types of lavas the first one is basic lava and the other is acid lava now the basic lavas are hottest they are highly fluid they are rich in iron magnesium and they flow very calmly because they are basic they spread over large areas before solidifying they create a gentle slope forming a shield or a dome acid lavas the acidic lavas are viscous in nature their color is light they are high in silica they flow slowly unlike basic lava and can't travel much distance before solidifying and because of its thickness they form steeps they create loud explosions they throw volcanic bombs or pyroclasts the lava of some acidic volcanoes is very thick which creates a spine at the crater as it does in erode now let's discuss the types of volcanoes the first is active volcano they are said to be active when they erupt frequently example like of those in philippines andes japan indonesia Iceland and Azores. The Barren Islands is one of the examples of active volcanoes in India. The next type is dormant volcanoes. Dormant volcanoes are those which can erupt in future. That is, they show some signs of eruption. The next one is extinct volcano. The extinct volcanoes are those which can't erupt in near future and has lost its ability to erupt. You will be looking into some other types of volcanoes, but before that. The volcanoes throw out fine particles of volcanic dust and they can travel around the world before it settles down. The dust or ash is called black snow. It can settle very dense. There are cones which are formed after so many eruptions of lava, ashes or any other material. Let it be solid, liquid or gas. Mostly volcanoes have composite cones also called as stratovolcanoes. Examples of composite cones are Mount Stromboli named as lighthouse of the Mediterranean, Mount Fuji and Mount Vesuvius. When the eruption occurs, the material already settled on the top starts spreading into the vent, widening in large crater. The enlarged depressions are called as calderas, which can be really very huge in size. They can be several miles distant. They are so huge that the water can saturate here causing formation of lakes. One of the examples of the calderas are Lake Toba in Sumatra island. And these types of lakes can be called crater or caldera lakes. Now, one other type of volcano is shield volcanoes or the lava domes. These are gently rising slopes and have broad and flattened tops. Its example can be the volcanoes of Hawaii. The next type is mid-ocean ridge volcanoes. As the name suggests, these volcanoes occur in oceans with the concept of divergent plate boundary. That means the plates move away from each other. And because they move away from each other, there are frequent eruptions of volcanoes there. Now let's talk about geysers and hot springs. We will be discussing it because it's related to volcanism. First of all, geysers. Geysers are the fountains of hot waters. The water here is heated beyond boiling point that is 100 degrees Celsius. It explodes by the gases pumping out. There are three major areas where geysers are found. They are Iceland, New Zealand and USA. The world's best known geyser is the Old Faithful in the Yellowstone National Park in USA. 
It erupts every 63 minutes. And the last point is hot springs. They are also known as thermal springs. They are found in deep interiors of the earth where water is heated by interior forces. Unlike geysers, they do not explode. They are found in Iceland, Japan and Hawaii. So that is it for today guys. This is one of the important topics related to examination. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care.